Hello everyone and welcome back to the Contingency Server. I, Palladium PDM, your host. And as you can see, we are now accepting Bitcoin. <laughs> um, I've been kind of pranked. Let's have a look down here in my storage room. Oops, I think I may have landed on that. Oh, never mind. Um, as you can see, somebody has come along and rotated all my things. And where's the... I know I had some items and stuff on here. Last. I don't know what the deal is, I'll have to find out from people. I do not like this turn of events. Fortunately all my top tier tools are still there, so nobody's nicked anything, but what the heck? Maybe they packed it all away, let's see. Item frames? Nope, there's none in there. They should be in there if they're going to be. Alright, so it's time to go to the nether. Uh, in here we have... Uh, we heard you needed a little bit of variety in your otherwise relatively bland base. Hope you like the firecrackers. Hope you the firecrackers. Okay, I guess there must be a like somewhere in there. Love Tony Spock and Nerdy. Right. Okay, well, I don't have time for this right now. I'm heading to Nuke's Perimeter. I'll meet you guys there. I want to show you something that I built. Okay, we're here, and this is the machine in question. Apparently somebody broke a repeater. I haven't found it yet. That's all correct. That's correct. Oop, getting Facebook messaged. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Arg. So, ah, uh, right, okay, it's that locking repeater. Uh, I'll be right back. Alright, hopefully that will have fewer notifications. So, boom, we put that there, and I can't remember if it's supposed to be on or off. Let's press the button and find out. Well, that's not working. Um... Now I'm out of building blocks. Yeah. Oh, two ticks. That's right. It's the only two tick repeater in the entire build. There we go. There we go. Alright, so this is now uh, ready. So, uh, why don't I explain how this works? Let's get some, uh, maybe some snow. Do I have a shovel around here somewhere? There we go. I know, I know, it's got silk touch, but it doesn't matter. So, uh, we'll be do a bit of exploring around this perimeter in a second, but I just want to show you this machine that I've got going here, which Tony apparently is getting lag from. Look, hey pal, this thing is making me lag. Could you possibly remove it? I wasn't getting that before. This, sorry, evil Tony. Even on two chunks. Okay, so I don't know what's causing lag for him because I don't think there are actually any lighting updates that happen here. Let's see. Um, so the way this works, uh, I'll show you the functionality and then I'll, I'll explain how it works. So. Right now, we can put some items in here, and they get sent by the hopper into a dropper, which is just visible in there. That's a dropper, and then 
as you can see there's a cactus there and if we press this button labeled commit to destruction the machine turns on and that light is supposed to turn on but it's not so we shall have to find out what's causing that as well and I can't get through the door <laughs> my lag on this server is not good um, crikey I don't really know what's causing that did I not build this correctly that's where the button is and the lights that's annoying the lights signal has to come from somewhere oh that's got to come from there so we need okay all right we need a block and some redstone so I'll just grab that We've got some supplies over here I uh, need redstone dust and a couple of building blocks good right so I think the uh, the way to do that is to do this and then this because when that torch turns on that means the system is active let's find out if that's the case so we'll grab a bit more snow To have enough to have the thing turn on. There we go. All right, so we there should be now items in that uh, in that thing. It gets old quick, doesn't it? So let's have a look. get some light in here as well. I do like a bit of light. Nice and invisible. Alright, so now if we press that, that should turn on. Yes. And you can see the items getting destroyed. Great. So also, if you have dumped a bunch of stuff in and you accidentally press the commit destruct, to destruct button without thinking, then you can also press this emergency stop button. And that's what was actually broken just before. Alright, let's have a little look around this perimeter. So here we have our storage system. We have stone here. As you can see we've dug out quite a lot of it and we're using mostly silk touch picks so all of these are filled with regular stone and down here we have the cobblestone where people have been using regular pickaxes. And the goal is to save all the resources that we collect which I believe are in here the gold isn't but you can see we've got a, a good number of diamond ores and redstone ores and things the gold is in here we've got some iron ore in here there's loads more iron ore but and coal ore so we want to silk touch everything all the ores anyway uh, so we've mostly just been using silk touch pickaxes for this uh, for this project over here we just got some personal storage I don't have one because I haven't stored anything I just keep it in my ender chest and over here we put the sign on when the chest is full so well, this chest is probably getting yeah so that's getting filled up now we got grass gravel ooh. and this is more dirt I assume and the bedrock we have been removing with a neat trick whereby if you have in fact I can actually just show you now let us grab we need a stair um, stone I don't really shouldn't that say cobblestone stairs well, whatever all right we don't need this redstone anymore all these blocks on the other hand a couple of blocks might be good <laughs> oh okay got a lot of iron blocks there. Um, let us grab some stone from over here. And you know what? I'm going to take that cobblestone and just turf it because 
All right, let's do this efficiently. That's the way. Uh, no, <laughs> yeah, eight. I'm forgetting to eat. It's crazy. All right, so over here, let's grab this guy. With the skulls is what we need for this particular task. And then I hear crouching table. All right, let us make some stairs. All right, good. So I like to have these blocks to just place the stairs against. In fact, I might just convert them to stone bricks. That way, I don't need to use silk touch. Um, the easy way, you just do this, and I'm just going to go further along. That's ten. I've got fourteen with the skull, so I'm going to do fourteen, and then you place stairs. Like so, with the skulls, and you just boom, and you can see that it just deleted that block. Isn't that cool? Boom, delete. So we can do that all along here. No, that doesn't work. I need to be sort of more to the front of it. Oops. might have to do it from a different angle. And I really don't want to accidentally break a skull by doing anything stupid here. Let's actually break this top one first. That's the smart way to do it. And then we can break this guy. Break the bottom one. Yeah! And we've been doing that all along here. All this empty space yeah, that's what people have been doing. That's a big job. I haven't actually been helping with that job at all. I've mostly been doing uh, tool repairs and actually making a bunch more of my own tools as well to help with the project when and if I can. Uh, but at the moment, we are trying to do most of the digging on live stream. So we want to kind of save it. Um, oh yeah, and I went with the skull farming. All of these wither skulls are from yesterday. I went with the skull farming yesterday because I gave give it to me. All right then, whatever. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, all of yesterday, I was farming with the skulls pretty much. Which is not much fun because spawn rates are pretty low at the moment. Really need someone to uh, have an account AFK up above the nether. That helps a lot with spawn rates. So let's just do these last two and then, um, then we'll go look at something else. Actually, you know what? Let's complete the job. Let's do, do this one too. And that one. Interesting thing about snow covers, they have a collision mask that means you still stop at the top of the block. As you can see, my feet position is at Y3. So let's do that and that. All right, success. We can instant mine the stone brick. Nice. And then we got to be careful not to place the skull where a previous skull has been placed, otherwise they did get deleted. That's one of the main reasons why I've had to go skull farming. I gave them 12 skulls, and by the end of the first day, they were down to 7. So, um, And those, these weren't incompetent people doing it either. They were very, very competent people doing it. So it's just, uh, it's just tough to make sure that everything goes well. Anyway, I'm going to go find something else for us to look at. Uh, in fact, yeah, well, let's take a look at this uh, perimeter a bit wider. We need to get a bit of perspective. 
Meteorite and a pearls, yes. Might be worth grabbing a few more actually. Um, and putting this away. Boing. Yeah, that's for enchanting. So, and pearls. Yeah. But that's full, that's full, that's full. You can tell people have been to the end, can't ya? Alright. I don't know why there's a beacon here. I suppose it marks the center of the storage room or something. So this is Nuke's perimeter. The idea here is that this is going to be a mob farm of some sort. I assume just a regular mob farm. And wow, they have done a lot. That's spectacular. We do have to watch out though when we walk around here because there are pitfalls, so to speak. This is the sort of side where I was digging out on the live stream. Uh, towards the end anyway. But I didn't finish, so somebody else finished that for me. It seems that digging is going on somewhat while we're waiting for a new live stream to start. Interesting, they sort of went there and then along the edge. Well, let's... let's uh, get the render distance up a bit. I set it so low because I enjoy having high frame rates and having it low just helps a bit. Somebody's down there working away. I assume that it's uh, Harmony and B. She's a relatively new server member. Um, very hard worker. Very, uh, very good addition, I think. Very valuable. Everybody's a hard worker on this server, actually, but, um, yeah. It's nice to have Harmony on board as well. So, on the edge of the perimeter, as you can see, there's glowstone marking it out. So, we'll just go have a look at that. You've got to be careful, though, because you could easily fall down these pits where the, um, the beacons are, and you just... Whoa, okay, so they've replaced that with iron blocks. Yeah, so if we fell down there, we wouldn't die, I don't think, but uh, it would be a bad time. Wow, that's looking crazy. That's a lot of iron blocks. That's what happens when you have the most powerful iron farm in Minecraft. Oh look, surface spawner, and it's a skeleton spawner, that's nice. We should steal this iron horse armor. Or, you know, I could use another copy of 13, but maybe later. Maybe later. Nuke did all the prep for this, by the way. As far as I know, nobody else helped him. He just sort of worked out the dimensions, and I don't know why he's doing it in Snowbind specifically. Um, maybe because it's near his base. It also helps with the water, because the water freezes, so you can clear it up by just digging the ice layer at the top and then you can you know, sort of move down as you go. Other people have been digging in various places but um, I think that gives you a good perspective of what we're trying to do here and I think in the end there's going to be a pretty efficient mob farm here. The, uh, the perimeter size is uh, 320 by 320 I think so it's a good it's a good sized perimeter here and uh, we should have a really nice amount of uh, mob spawnability available. Alright, I'm gonna go for a while and I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, as you can see we are back at my base and the reason why we're here is because I am led to believe that there's some other kind of extra bit of pranking going on here. Mm, helicopter, nice. You can see my cyan sheep. Uh, this is involved in a project that I'll be showing probably in the next episode, I think. But in the meantime, let's have a little look around here. They said fireworks. I believe there should be some fireworks around here somewhere. This is 
where we make the medicine. Um, okay, nothing yet. Let's have a look down in my storage room. Not bad. These missing item frames are a little worrying because they had items in them and for some of these the items were cheap but for example this is my tools chest I think I had an enchanted pickaxe on that one that's my weapons chest I can't remember what I had on that one not a potato that is random stuff I think troubling and there's these aren't missing, I think. These were already like that. That's the armor I used to repair my current set. And that's just uncooked meat. Hmm. I really don't see anything else around here. These are dispensers that I made, so it's not to do. Oh, this is a redstone, of course, yeah. More dispensers there. Have a look down. It sounded like there was fire going there. I heard a fire. And there shouldn't be fire down here because... Well, I certainly don't remember anything being on fire around here. Have a little look around. Hmm. They said they wanted to spruce my base up. Well, it looks the same. I don't see any difference. Nothing here. Nothing here. And what looks like nothing here. Although I can't be sure because hey, stuff might be behind walls where it's invisible. Alright, um, I think I'm going to stop wasting time here. Did you hear that? I heard that. Sounds like it's a... Ooh, hello. Cobblestone. Oh! Oh, ho, ho. That's safe. Anything else going on here? Need some light. I don't understand this prank. That was obviously some kind of fuse. Do you know what I suspect? I suspect these item frames are missing because there was TNT that went off here. That's what I suspect. And if there was, well, there's going to be hell to pay. So they set this up so that while I'm here the wood would catch on fire set the TNT off which would fall into the water but they obviously didn't think it through very hard because yeah okay so one TNT will get lit on fire and then it'll fall into the water and blow up and light the other TNT and they will blow all over the place probably because they'll have different fuses so they could potentially just blow a hole in the wall so fireworks yes please blowing up my base not so much not so much uh, ruining my well I wouldn't call it ruining but inconveniencing me with this 
not really a big fan. So uh, I think we're going to have to do something to get these guys back good. And I have one or two ideas, but uh, I think that's going to come in a future episode. So <laughs> uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching. This has been Palladium PD, and I'm out.